So I think we're going to focus on the space nubs, which will eventually bring crew. Should we trust the, this space nub to actually launch somebody? It had a lot of failures. <laughs> it had a lot of failures. Uh, let me take a look at what the failure rate for parts are in oh scrap maybe i've only changed the rcs expected lifetime for a tank see i don't know what the units are for these uh base chance of failure i think nasa parts should be one in a hundred let's just why is base chance of failure for our, our srbs I think I already turned that off, but let's just say one in a hundred, right? I'll add these as patches for RP uh, in RP2000, but they'll overwrite. Oops, they'll overwrite the original file. I don't know about the expected lifetime. Parachute failure. Yes, we we want to change that. Control surface failure. Yeah. I'm taking one out of hundred as one out of hundred. I don't know if if that's what it means here. I'm hoping that making this number lower is what I think it is. Maybe we need well char the blader can leak, but these are the things that can't leak. We might want to add to that list. Battery failure, yes, let's reduce that. Antenna failure, mm-hmm. Alternator failure. I wonder why it's 11 instead of 10. Does that really make a huge difference? Okay, and let's just implement this. I'm going to restart with these fixes. Okay, well, I am going to risk taking the contract for suborbital crude flight and the Karma Online milestone and let us let us see about this we are going to test the space nub but the uh, space nub R but the space nub is the one that we're gonna put a Kerbal in potentially no Jeb this is still experimental. I mean, technically it's perfectly safe, I'm sure, but... SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. I mean, it's basically launch escape system. Right? This is like a dragon capsule right now. Well, this is encountering plenty of drag, I'm sure. So one question is whether we actually have the Delta V to get to space. Good thing the visual plumes have nothing to do with heating. Yeah, actually it can't get to space. Too much drag. Communication failure. And still a short circuit, jeez. I feel like those numbers in that those settings, either because this was already under construction, they didn't take for this, or they actually don't do anything, I'm not sure. Oh, parachutes. Char the blader leak. It really likes to char the blader leak. It can't leak the ablator, so it leaks the char ablator. As if we have any. Okay. Well, it floats. Got some science anyway. Okay, well... Then the space nub. We're in... We plan to launch a Kerbal. Guess the bright side is, in theory, Kerbals can parachute down in this version. Anyway, will I end up killing Jeb? That is the question. It also occurs to me that we might not have accounted for the Kerbal's mass. Hmm. 
We'll see. Okay, Jeb, here we go. Oh boy. Jeb doing Jeb things, as is traditional. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition, and launch. Jeb looks comfy so far. Crew report? I guess so. August 7th, 2006. Then this is apparently a realistic suborbital space vehicle. Okay. And shut down. We're in good shape so far. What's unrealistic about this? We've got a tank. The engine is just one of these engine 2s, it's not crazy kind of ISP or anything. What can I do? <laughs> it, this must be possible. Well, let's just let that stuff go. Crew report. Oh, I, I didn't action group it. Okay, well, I'll transmit that. Jeb better not bobble his head too much. It'll throw off our center of mass. Don't think we did high atmosphere. Wait, I thought suborbital spaceflight crude was 170 kilometers. This, now this says 270 kilometers. I swear I saw 170 kilometers. 270 is a lot. Uh oh. And that one is actually done sooner. It's 242 days. Much G force. It's from with the higher up one. We'll have to have a retro rocket. Okay, parachutes are out. We uh, will need a bunch of stuff. I don't think we can just use the nub as is. Can't use it quite like this. I'm tempted to cut one of the chutes so that we go down faster, but... Ah, screw it, alright. Let me just cut that one. Up, oh, more signs. Oh, a parachute. Oh, well, good. It, it had the parachute failure be the one that is already cut. Good. <laughs> All right. Okay, recover vessel. Normal recovery. We actually get a lot of value from the recovery. I'm not too sure people would approve of that, but. Okay, we need to remake it for the higher mission. Did you really say... You said 270. Okay, fine. I think I trust this more than the fully reusable nub. Maybe we can have the fully reusable one on top of the... Nah, forget it. <laughs> Let's keep it simple, I guess. No, me... Mm. Nah, maybe that's going too far. No, oh, that's a little bit too severe. We want retro rockets, basically. Oh, I forgot a normal in there. But anyway, I want to just not have fuel up here because it could imbalance things. I don't even know if we need the heat shield. Okay, so we've got that. Still sort of redstone-y. And we'll have two of these, maybe? But we we need a third engine because these don't last that long. Why does it look like this? <laughs> Why does it have to look like this? 
270 kilometers is pretty high. That's okay, but that thrust weight ratio is too much. Not that NASA would approve of any of this, but. I swear for orbital, we're not going to use the Mark 1 pod, so we're going to have to do something much more substantial. Fine, three way symmetry. Okay. L for long. <laughs> this is the long rocket. Bad feelings all around, but. It's building. Three build points per second. Got a nice high reputation. Okay, well, I guess it's Val's turn, yeah. Wait, but why did you put Val in... Where's where's Jeb? Jeb's, Jeb's still here, right? Not the flagpole. This Jeb's available, but it automatically chose Val, which is interesting. Wait, there's a... There's a Kerbal called Lemming! Mmm... Oh, we've got to have the Kerbal called Lemming. Okay, so yeah. Fine. Val it is. Okay, this is very dangerous. But here we go. SAS on, throttle up, ignition. Oh, one ignition failure. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Oh, well, we'll have to use... Let's just uh, recover active vessel. Okay, let's edit. We'll replace the engines. Okay, we'll just put fresh ones. 34 days to replace the engines. They're just on the busted one, but... Okay, let's try again. No, no, it's still Val's turn. Okay, here we go again. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. We've got three, and go. Maybe I should have gone inland because we're not going to get any new science over here. But we could if Val lands on land. But I think this is for the best. Anyway, we're past the speed of sound. Okay, getting up there. And for a little bit of buffer, cut. Okay, how was that? 5G's. Anything new around here? Probably not. Nope. Well, we might as well try the CO2 scrubber. Don't know. It's still accumulating CO2, so I don't know if it's doing anything, but we've got lithium hydroxide here. Using lithium hydroxide. Okay, separation. Starting up the RCS thrusters. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> it's too much of that. Do you have to puff so much? Well, let's just arm the stuff. Uh oh. Wait, wait, what? Oh, what's happened? Don't, aren't they all the same? Aren't you all the same? I can't tell right now. Oh, does she not have a parachute? <laughs> I feel like these aren't firing properly. Wouldn't be the first time a retro package didn't do what it was supposed to do, but still, yeah. Definitely throws us off. And yet, uh, these guys aren't firing. Well, now that the atmosphere has us, we can try. Well, she lost consciousness. But she'll be back. Thankfully, we have a control unit.
But yeah, I should have just kept the fuel up here. This fuel isn't cross-feeding through, I don't think. It's MMHM on 3. It should be MMHM on 3, so... This is a high-pressure tank, too. But yeah, if I turn on kill rotation, it's obviously not using those RCS units. Okay, all three parachutes are up. So, we did the thing, right? <laughs> Think, I think he'll be happy. Oh, now a short circuit. Great. Let's just clear all the mishaps here. So, we still haven't picked up the Mars mission contract, so we don't have to worry about that. Maybe we should try to get a Kerbal into orbit. Okay, recover vessel. Hey, I said... I did not check how many G's it was. It was sufficient to know that Val passed out. Okay, but it was done. So... Yeah, we only have those long-term moon missions... ...at the moment. There's another suborbital spaceflight crew, but do we really need to... That, that's only to 260. You made me do 270 before and you want me to do 260? What is this? Oh, we have to... Um, oh, that's for lunar, right. Mars landing. Crewed Mars landing. I'd love to see what the reward for that is, but... Anyway, uh, this is the crewed orbital contract. We'll have the retro package separate. We'll have RCS fuel here, since the alternative didn't work out very well. Well, if it's in the center, it can't mess up, right? Right? Here's hoping. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't have this. <laughs> Let me... Uh, we've, we've, we've got the Lynx S-Neo. Maybe we should do something a little bit more robust. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to go to orbit with this little guy. Let's let's do something proper. Um, let's just have this set to the side. That's gonna cost a lot though, but it's better for the future. Let's configure this for eight tons. Oh, does it have not have a top note? Well, shoot. Well, we'll just put a cap on here for now. Now that looks really small, but it's still sort of doing the right thing. But we need better solar panels. Now, there was a CO2 scrubber doing CO2 scrubbing things in the Mark 1 pod. Well, supposed to be doing CO2 scrubbing things, but it wasn't really successful. Uh, but we were accumulating CO2, so I'm worried about that, but we don't have Kerbalism, so I don't know if they'll die. Hmm. There's no way this is generating enough power for this. Let me just see about the solar panel situation. That's a more pressing need than some of the other stuff that we've got. We've got extendable ones here, but they're still level 2, like 1960s solar panels. But they'll be better than what we've got right now. But we can't even research it, because that's 160 science, and we can't unlock that. Okay, yeah, I'll just have to edit the solar panel stuff so that we have more advanced solar panels earlier. Well, that looks cozy. Hydrolox. Do we do Hydrolox now? There's methane here. Carolox. We could do it in pairs. Well, that's about half the Delta V we need. 
These are probably sea level engines, actually. Well, the vacuum is pretty... Actually, it's more vacuum. Okay. Let's get another one of these. And we'll just stick to the sure shred engine pack engines. So... This is the bigger Carolox engine. Probably we don't need that many, right? Hmm... Actually, maybe we do. Uh, the thrust weight ratio is a little bit high there. Let's make this heavier. But what about burn times? Those upper stage engines only have a burn time of three minutes. That's not what we have there. What about these guys? These have three minutes and 30 seconds, so that's fine. Why are you so bad? <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little bit too limiting. If I put four, the end thrust weight ratio is too high. And that build time is horrendous. Well, now we've got a much larger rocket that can carry three people to orbit. So... Alright, so I've made some changes. I've patched the RO patch for the squad solar panels. Not all solar panels, just the squad ones. Uh, which is basically what we have here, uh, except for the little CubeSat ones. And so now their tech level has been increased by four levels. The description won't say it. Basically, you can just look at it and go plus four. So that's a level four, that's a level five, and level four. I didn't want to rewrite all of the descriptions for it, but that's level six. So uh, right now we have level six ones unlocked because we, uh, when we had the tech level for those, we didn't really use them. Uh, and they basically get a little bit over double their previous power. So I'm just using the RO tech levels. I didn't rewrite the RO patch. I just have a patch on top of it saying after RO and hopefully that will work properly. Seems to so far. And also I nerfed the CubeSat solar panels so they get half the power that they used to. So. Uh, that'll introduce some better balance, but uh, yeah, so if you don't want to nerf the CubeSat solar panels, you shouldn't update small rockets. That'll be uh, version 0.9.3 is the solar panel patch for that, and then uh, for RP2000, uh, this solar panel patch will be 0.1.4. So those will be up by the time this video is released. So I still think we need more solar panel read than what we've got here. Um, we could probably tweak scale them. Uh, I think we're just going to make this, uh, this uh, service module bigger, even though we don't need more fuel or anything. And maybe we'll have... Uh, I don't know if we can have a hollow cone and do this. Maybe we'll have them facing downward. I could make this into a procedural fairing and probably look better. And maybe way less even. Uh, you know what, let's make it a procedural fairing thing. Hollow payload adapter ring? I want a hollow interstage. Oh, we're limited to four meters on that. I don't even feel like I especially need to put the fairings on. That looks fine. But actually, it's about the same mass anyway. Oh well. Doesn't give us any benefit. Maybe you want a bigger engine there. Well, you have this advanced one of this one. 40 ignitions. It's going to underutilize this. Well, if we're gonna underutilize it that much, we don't need the bigger one. Even this, though this looks tiny. These get 130 watts a piece. Well, that's sort of something. Maybe I can squeeze an engine at the center. These pipes don't really make it easy. Maybe we need some of those engine fairings and make this a little bit bigger. These have a burn time of 3 minutes and 30 seconds. 
The upper stage doesn't have quite so much. It has three minutes. So I don't know how we're going to manage like that. Um, we'll have to have more of those, so we're gonna have to have a better engine. Maybe we'll just have one of these on top as well. Just have five of that engine at the bottom, one of these. I mean, if we're going for Carol Ox, we might as well make it simple, I suppose. There, three minutes and 30 seconds. It's a little bit high on the thrust weight ratio, though. So I think a more robust service module will help, one that actually completes orbit. Just to manage the high thrust weight ratio at the end. I want this to be a little bit more conducive to modern expectations as far as what we can launch people on. You know what? Maybe maybe we'll just go with the same setup but with methane instead of Carolox. This is four minute burn time. This one is decent at sea level as well. It's not vacuum optimized. I think it might actually be cheaper, because it's they're smaller engines. They are cheaper engines, these methane engines, than the kerosene engines we had before. But maybe we will need more of them on the first stage. Oh yeah. We're not quite getting there. Well, I think I'll just put some of these engines on in pairs and we'll just shut some of them down to limit the thrust to weight ratio here. Or maybe in sets of three. Okay, so those all have their action groups. Guess three-way symmetry is fine for the launch clamps as well. 4.81 at the top though. But then again, I guess Dragon can get up there too. I mean, Dragon 2 on a Falcon 9. That engine is pretty powerful. I'm gonna use Legacy Textures. We'll just go with this one. Don't know why it has hexes all over the place. And it's a little bit stretched, but... Yeah, it looks fine. So we're shutting down some engine. Maybe we can get a better lift off thrust weight ratio and not stretch it so much. Since we're shutting down some engines to limit the thrust weight ratio. Okay, so that's our rocket. Uh, 2060s is what we have. Let's see, 2060s. Well, when I think of the 60s, I think of rock and roll, so we're gonna call the the rocket rocker. <laughs> it's the rocket rocker. We are expecting the service module engine to complete orbit. And these will be just shy. Okay, well, we'll find out what happens with it next time. I'm gonna build one, but we have a build time of 741 days. It costs 158000 to build this. We're probably not getting the kind of money that we need to justify this business. So maybe we should pick up some other contracts while this is getting built in order to get some funding for this. And I'll contemplate that in the next video. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.